So I have two friends who are big readers, so I decided to give them TBR jars for their birthdays. So I cut up little strips of paper just like I did with mine in different colors, and I have bags for each of them to go in, and then my plan is to take them to the bookstore, and I'm gonna bring tape and pens in the car so if they want to, they can like tape their little genres or make like a little label for it, and then take them to the bookstore so they can actually look around at the books and put things in their TBR jars. So let's go ahead and package these. There's one done and there they are. And I just realized that I gave one of my friends a couple of books, but then the other one, I think I have mail. So let me go check that and bring that up to put in her bag. Indeed, this was at the front door. So let's see what's in it. Let's make sure it's the right book. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. This cover is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I might have to get this. That's so cool. Okay, so that'll be her first book in her TBR jar and then we'll see what else they find at the bookstore. Watching the TBR jar premiere. Okay, so open it. There's one in there for each of you. What do I just put my hand there? Yeah, just open it. And then... Oh my goodness. So what you have there, and here's a pen, so you get to go around the bookstore. Wait, that's so Here's a pen for so you, cute. and yours is in here. Oh and you get, to, you get to write books that you want that to read right. on the little slips of paper. So, so you guys can have fun and see oh what you God, want. I, think I love this. And you can use them for different Wait, genres, jars or you so can cute. just... Where did you get to the jars? Just Amazon. Yeah. Amazon oh Queen. Oh read a book, then you can use this as your TBR jar. Wait, that's actually so I cute. I love that. So, I think it's physical TBR jar instead of the apps. It is. Because I feel like Goodreads so gets kind. cluttered. That is so sweet. You definitely need down. Well, I just want to be fun and I can hold things That's if you want me to hold so the lids cute. or anything. I use like different, yes, I use yeah. the different colors, like different genres. Is pink romance? I use pink for romance. That's my genre. And then yeah. I used like green for other, and then, but whatever genres you guys read the most. Purple fantasy, I, I did purple fantasy, yeah. And then you did yellow other? Um, I think I did green other. And then, what else did I do? Ooh, it's... Have you guys read I'm Glad My Mom Died? I did. It was really I haven't. It's actually like my favorite book from last really, year. You would like it. Like, I'm a little nervous to read it because it sounds kind of aggressive. It is aggressive. It's, it's aggressive. like very aggressive. But maybe I'll listen to the audiobook. But yeah, because she does it and it's super fast. Oh, good. And I like when the authors do their audiobooks. I do too. Because it feels like a story. I do too. I, can, I like the Bachelor one. one. Sorry. Did you read this one? Oh, this one is on my is on my to be read list. Look how big it is. Oh, so no, I get, no, I get scared of Big I know I'm waiting for the paperback actually to come out for the the second one of this one so I can have a match. Oh, I haven't heard of that one. I like the cover. The cover kind of looks like um, Taylor Jenkins Reid. It does. It really does. <gasps> what? I was thinking I really like this one. This one looks really good. Sweet pea. Do I have to put like? I just put the title. Wait, which color are you? you can do whatever color. You can do whatever color you want. It does I don't you don't have to color code. I just color coded. But you can just write down like the the cover or not the cover. Just write down the the title and then that way you just fold it up and put it in your jar and that way once you're ready to read it. Or you're you should, looking for a new book. You should read Carrie Solo's back. <gasps> yeah, it's I had that on my, so my list. I actually just finished Daisy Jones finally. Did you like it? I did. Yeah. Honestly though, the show was a little <laughs> Which I, I still need to watch it. Same with normal people. Like I watched the show first and then I I'm gonna put that on my TBR though. Is that consider what would you consider that a romance? Oh, I put, I I'm made, gonna put the teacher on there even though I'm like technically reading it. I made yellow as my thriller one. I, I think, think, I'm, I think I'm doing green as thriller because I mixed up the colors. But. And then, oh, oh, this is good. oh, I have that one from the book of the month, the but I haven't history. read it yet. I was gonna say the other thing you can do is you make sure you fold it up really tight or else you could lay like come undone because oh. this paper is really thick and so it unfolds itself. This one looks kind of intense. This this one. The cover is like this. Oh, the cover is like this. Is this not? Yes, like that. Um, yeah, like just tighter than you think you need to fold them. Because when you fold them, it takes up space. It does. Cute. I like this cover too. Why did this one and this one feel like they should go together? I like the 
colors well, because the, the, like, the, the peachy color. The color scheme. Yeah. What is that? Is that why it sounds so familiar? I don't know this. Wait, look how pretty. Look how pretty this one is. Oh my gosh. That's really cool. This looks so cool. I'm gonna add this to mine. I like the spine. I'm adding this one, the last to vanish. Ooh, okay, I love oh. I, I'm not really a Stephen King fan, but I've heard it's Not me grabbing this book. Like which oh, <laughs> which Stephen King one? Um, the new one. Oh, fairy tale. Yeah, but I've never really read Stephen King. Ooh, have either of you guys read this one? This one sounds really good. Cool it's like very fantasy. I'm glad. Oh, good. Yeah, add it, and then you, and then that way you won't have to go to the bookstore because you Same can. With the Paris apartment, I have that one. And I haven't read it. There's like so many books I have that I haven't read. I was gonna say you can and add. I continually buy books I shouldn't be buying because I just like have so many. You can add them, and then that way, like if you already have them, then you can just pull it out and read it right away. And then... I'm glad that you like it. it. So good on my bookshelf. Yeah, me and that too. way, and you can make a little label for it that says like That's TBR so jar. Cute. I can make one on Canva. And then you can print it out. I just made my I just made a label out of one of the labels oh, that's smart. that just oh, says TBR jar. Around myself. Oh, this one is by the Oh, Julie just did this one. And this one's by the same author that wrote The Heiress. Oh, did you like it or are you still reading it? It was the weirdest book I've ever read, you guys. Really? Yeah. It was so like weird. in a good or bad way? Um like would you recommend it or I I don't think I would recommend okay. it. <laughs> Can you tell me what happens then? Because I'm probably not gonna read it. Yeah, I'll spoil it for you at yeah, dinner. Spoil it. Also, here's that book. Here's this book that keeps following me everywhere. Should I just read it? I swear to god it's called winter garden we're gonna have to look because for it because it's the woman having like a flashback and right and like she doesn't realize that he lived until like the end of her life yeah and then they like the find each step. other on a boat yes, or something that's that book i promise you i don't i don't remember it being called the winter garden because well, that's but that's what it was called okay well i'm gonna have to like look can we look it up can we find it somewhere yeah like those covers that you have like the cartoon ones yeah i don't know, I know why Emily henry does it too but i feel like hers the people don't have eyes and it doesn't freak me out as much. i don't know why they're really in the animated romance covers this these reminds days. me of that other book i read like icebreaker that was so bad oh, but yeah. I, I had to finish it because it was so bad but everybody loved icebreaker yeah i, I do mean, remember that it kept my attention but not for I wouldn't say it was like a literary masterpiece. What were your thoughts on this one? I really liked it. Okay. I'm thinking about I'm thinking about putting it. Well, it's already in my jar, but I'm thinking about reading it soon. Did, did everyone else read this? Yeah. Oh, and then this one. Didn't you recommend this That's one? That's the one that I, it's written by the same author. Okay. This one I need to write and put in my jar for sure. Like it, and it's like a pearl. Oh. Yeah, no, my dad's Okay. I'm for sure putting that on my thing. Look, at some point in this chaos, I lost a nail. <laughs> You guys can use your Goodreads to add things in there too.
Girls. Birthday girls. Birthday girls. Birthday girls. It's like we're twins. <laughs> Can I blow it out? Yeah. Oh. Yay! Wait, this is so cute. So I'm back home and I was just putting a few more things in my little jar. And I decided that I was gonna keep this little dish. I tried to like attach a little, I don't know, a little square envelope thing right there on the side to try and hold the little slips but it just wasn't working the way i wanted it to so for now we just have this little dish with a little sharpie and i've already written down so many things that people suggested to me and i thought this was the cutest thing to see my friends look for books in the bookstore it's a little clunky to carry around quite honestly but i think what you could also do is have your friends take pictures and then be able to add them to their TBR later. But it was really cute to like just kind of surprise them and have them have the jars in the store. So what's funny about mine is I don't know if this is going to fit everything. I feel like I just keep adding and adding and adding. So I might have to get a bigger jar. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I also bought a book today. <laughs> I bought a fate ink inked in blood because it had like these blue foiled edges, which you'll get to see when it comes in a couple of days. So I need to go on some kind of book buying ban or buy just a couple of books a month and then really use my Kindle Unlimited and my Libby subscriptions. I do think that this will be the next fantasy book that I read. That's what this little guy is right here. Oop. That's what this little guy is. I left it out because I just want to be able to find it. The problem is though, I actually had to go back and watch my TBR jar video to remember what I had put in here because I couldn't remember. So some things might be in here twice and I guess that's okay. It was so fun to get to see my friends looking for books and just get to talk to them about it and get to spend time with them and see what books they wanted. I did gift them a couple of books to be their first books in their TBR jar, just because I thought that would be really fun. I just thought it would be really fun to vlog this for the memories. So if you do this for your friends, please let me know. I would love to see pictures. You can DM me on Instagram or just comment and let me know if you think you're gonna do this for your friends. It was a really fun idea, if I do say so myself. Hopefully my friends really liked it. Hopefully it'll be useful for them. And I do still have another vlog going, so I wanted to make sure I included this in this vlog and get it out sooner to celebrate their birthdays because I'm still doing the this vlog or this video ends when I find a five-star read and I haven't found one yet. So I'm reading this one right now. I think this might be it. We will see. I'll keep y'all updated. And then I've been really wanting to read When the Moon Hatched as well. There's so many that I want to read. This is so hard. And while we were at dinner, I actually had... Um, one of my friends asked me about this at the bookstore, but I actually had the Priory of the Orange Trees prequel sequel, A Day of Fallen Night, come onto my Libby app as available, but I had to delay it because I still haven't read this one yet. So hopefully I will be able to finish some of these things soon. This one's been a really fast read. So if this is my five star one, then you'll see that vlog very soon. So make sure you're subscribed to see that. And then I will also probably be reading When the Moon Hatched and doing my monthly wrap up too. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
Let me know if you happen to make one of these for yourself or your friends. I will see you in the next video.